Hello all, this video describes how to connect Raspberry Pi 3 to your uh, laptop. This is a headless connection where your laptop's keyboard, mouse, display are used by the Raspberry Pi. To start with, plug in the SD card with the Raspbian OS. Keep a card reader ready. Uh, this will be used to enable SSH uh, that we will see later. A RJ45 Ethernet straight cable is used to connect Raspberry Pi to laptop. Generally available Ethernet cables are of straight connection and not crossover. Before powering on your Pi, open Network and Sharing Center on your laptop. Mine is a wireless network connection. Click on that and then click Properties. On the next window, click Sharing and then tick mark the Internet Connection Sharing. Unless you do this, your Raspberry Pi won't be detected by the network. This is the first important thing you have to do. Uh, click OK and then close. Now power up your Pi and plug in the Ethernet cable, RJ45 straight cable to your laptop. An unidentified network will appear as local area connection. As soon as you connect the Raspberry Pi, you can see this new network. This is created for Raspberry Pi, new network. Click on that and click properties. Double click on internet protocol version 4. You can see the IP address allotted to the new network. Here it is 192.168.137.1. This is the gateway IP of the new network and Pi will be allotted IP within this range. You can see the submit ma subnet mask last byte is 0. So your Pi's IP will be allotted within this range 1 to 254. This new gateway can also be verified by opening the command prompt and using IP config all command. To know the IP allotted to the Pi, we make use of a software called uh, Advanced IP Scanner. Open this application and feed in the range to scan as uh, 192.168.137.1254. The range starts from the gateway IP of new network as seen in the IP properties. The IP scanner detects the Raspberry Pi and displays its name along with the IP allotted. Here it is 192.168.137.252 and the name is raspberrypi.mshome.net. Now we have to enable the secure shell SSH. For this, uh, uh, remove the SD card and place it on the card reader. Plug it to your laptop. Note down the uh, drive letter allotted to the card reader. Here it is K colon. Inside this uh, boot directory, we have to create a file named SSH without any extension. You cannot uh, create a f create this file just by right clicking for this open the cmd and then type in echo greater than symbol and then the drive letter k colon uh, backslash and then ssh now a file named ssh without any extension is created inside the boot directory when pi boots it looks for this SSH file. If it finds one, it enables SSH and then deletes the file. This is the way you enable SSH on new Raspbian Pixel OS. You can do this with Raspi config, but for that you need an HDMI TV. Now remove the SD card and plug it onto Pi and then power it up. For a graphical user interface, we'll use an X forwarding application called MOBA XTERM. This is a nice replacement for the old Xming server. The MOBA Xterm is a standalone application which needs no installation. Best of it is that it has an inbuilt SSH client. You need not use a putty separately. It has an inbuilt SSH client. Open the MOBA Xterm and click on session. Click SSH. Under remote host, you can feed in the name or the IP of the Raspberry Pi which we obtained from the IP scanner. Type in raspberrypi.mshome.net or the IP address of Pi and then click OK. 
now it will ask for the uh, login login as user pi and password raspberry all small letters this is the default username and password pi and raspberry you get the raspberry pi prompt for graphical interface type in the command start lxde now you get a warning that ssh is enabled click ok and you can see the raspberry pi screen but the x forwarding has changed the background image and network Im icons are not seen the title bar is at the bottom of the screen to change that right click at the bottom of the screen and then select panel settings under panel settings select the position as top and click ok now you can see the title bar on top of the win window now let us bring back the network icons and connect to internet right click on top and select add remove panel items you get a uh, list of panel applets click add and then select wireless and wired networks click add and then a separator and then add network status monitor now you can see the network icon on right corner click on that to turn the Wi-Fi on select your network and then provide the password for your uh, network now your Pi is connected to the wireless network you can see the wireless icon and then the status is connected now under the internet select chromium web browser open the chromium web browser and type in uh, www.google.com you can search for the raspberry pi images select one image and then right click save image to the desktop of the pi now on the uh, pi des uh, desktop right click and then select desktop preferences under uh, appearances wallpaper select the image that we downloaded now raspberry pi image and then set the wallpaper mode to fit the uh, monitor area now you can see the raspberry pi image on the desktop of uh, of the screen thank you for watching